Hello my friends, this is Jeannie. Welcome back. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I want to share with you some beautiful, thoughtful, amazing, happy mail that I received from Diane Hubert, uh, Pretty Pink Cottage. If you do not know her, you should get to know her. I will link her channel as well as her Etsy shop down below. If you have been following me for a hot minute, then the name will sound familiar because I mention it quite often when I'm making my journals. The fact is a lot of the wonderful vintage supplies that I have in my stash are from Diane's shop. And a lot of what I have learned about journaling and making journals, I learned by watching Diane. So if you are new to journaling or if you've been journaling for a long time and just want some inspiration, definitely go check her out. She is a wonderful human being and an amazing journal maker. So definitely go check her out. I received some happy mail from Diane and when I first <laughs> when I first pulled the package from out of my mailbox and I saw her name, I thought to myself, did you order something from Pretty Pink Cottage and forget about it? <laughs> so I thought it was just something I might have ordered and <laughs> completely forgotten about. Um, but when I opened the package and saw the lovely note from her, I I was floored. She basically said that she uh, saw in one of my videos that I mentioned that I was hoping she would make some more fabric flips soon because I hope to purchase some more from her. Well, well, guess what she sent me? She sent me fabric flips. Guys, oh my God, <laughs> you don't know, this makes me so happy. I already looked through it. I couldn't help it. I wasn't going to wait. I mean, I knew I would film the video, but I knew I was not going to wait to uh, like rip into the package and, and just look at all of the beautiful things that I knew she would make. And if the fabric flips weren't enough, she also sent me some other items. She sent me some note cards and some envelopes. And the best thing about these note cards is that they are all bird themed. We all know I recently made a bird themed journal and I will make another bird themed journal. So this is just awesome. I might even make some mini envelope journals with this now that I have them. So let me share with you the cards and then I will share with you the fabric flips. So the cards are awesome. Look how pretty. So pretty. I am so lucky. What a blessing. And then these are the envelopes. I have made envelope journals before. I will link those videos in this general area here. Super easy to do. And these would be perfect. But, oh my goodness, let me share with you the fabric flips because they are gorgeous. So, look at these. Beautiful. I love fabric flips in my journals. I just don't enjoy making them. And I, I honestly don't think I have a good eye <laughs> for making them. Diane has just, I honestly think it's a gift. She has this ability to put things together in a way that you're just like, wow, yeah, that makes sense. It works. I love her style. I own several of her journals. Several. And the majority of vintage items in my stash I got from Diane's shop. She lives in Pennsylvania 
and attends these flea markets that are absolutely amazing. She finds some of the most amazing items. I recently watched part one and part two of her recent um, videos. It's a three-part video of flea market finds that she made while attending flea markets during Labor Day. She is currently on a staycation <laughs> and still keeping to her posting schedule, which I find amazing. Her work ethic is something to aspire to. She posts regularly and I mean, all of her journals are absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Such a great source of inspiration for journal making and incorporating vintage items into your journals. So I genuinely mean it when I say that if you are into journal making, you should definitely go check her out. Subscribe to her channel. Go visit her shop. Follow her shop. I stalk her shop. I do. I stalk her shop. Things in her shop tend to sell out pretty quickly. Same with her journals. If you see a journal that you like and it happens to be in her shop, you best get it while it's there because it won't be there very long. <laughs> I stalk her shops, um, her shop, especially when she's making a journal that I'm interested in. I will check that shop every day. You never know. And if it's there, I jump on it. I don't even hesitate. If there are other items in her shop that I want, I will make sure I get that journal first before <laughs> I stop and look at anything else because I don't want the journal to go. So again, if you love journal making, if you love making ephemera, if you love incorporating anything vintage into your uh, journal making projects, then definitely go check Diane out. And Diane, thank you so 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 very much for taking the time out of your schedule to make something like this i so so appreciating i so appreciate it and i appreciate you and all you do i appreciate your channel and the fact that you take the time to sit down and share with all of us what you make it's a great source of inspiration thank you all i appreciate you come back and visit me again I will catch you all in my next video. Until next time, bye-bye.